Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Melinda, the first lady of magic. Melinda Sachs, better known as just Melinda, is a special sort of female celebrity. Yeah, she's a hot blonde, but she is also a world-class magician who is extremely good at what she does. I hold her up to the standard of Doug Henning and David Copperfield. She is that good. She appeared on TV quite frequently in the 1980s and 90s and became a fixture in Las Vegas. As a matter of fact, she was the first woman magician to perform in Las Vegas. But where did such a phenomenon come from? She was born in a small town in Tennessee. However, she moved to Las Vegas when she was only three, where her mother worked as a showgirl. She got interested in magic when she was 16 and it became an obsession. Melinda graduated from high school a year early. By the age of 17, she joined the legendary act of Siegfried and Roy as a dancer. Melinda didn't stay as a dancer because, by the age of 19, she already starred in her first magic show at the Bourbon Street Hotel and Casino. She became very family entertainment oriented and started performing at the Landmark Hotel and Casino in May of 1988. This is also around the time you started seeing her on television. The Smothers Brothers had a great variety series on at that time, and she appeared on it, but you saw her on a lot of shows here and there. Why she never got her own magic specials on TV during this time is beyond me. You would think a good looking woman who could do magic like the big boys would be a real ratings grabber. Who wouldn't want to see that? On the bright side, she did get a lot of acclaim. In 1988, Melinda was honored by the Society of American Magicians. In late 1989, her show at the Landmark closed. But then she got a residency at Trump's Castle in Atlantic City, New Jersey. After that, she had her own theater in Branson, Missouri for four years. In 1995, she appeared as one of the performers on the second TV special of World's Greatest Magic on NBC. She did the Drill of Death Illusion, this was quite something. The drill looked like it impaled her, then lifted her up and spun her limp body around high above the stage. In 1997, Belinda finally got her first TV special for Disney aired on CBS called Melinda, First Lady of Magic. She should have had more of her own specials, but at least she got one. In 1998, she appeared on the first of the world's most dangerous magic specials. This was also quite cool. She was tied up and placed in a glass tank full of snakes, only to escape by levitation. That same year, she won the Merlin Award for Magician of the Year from the esteemed International Magician Society. In 2002, she stopped performing. Why? She got married in 2000, and decided it was time to start a family. The life of a magician is a time-consuming one, and she wanted to be devoted to her husband. Good for her, but those who love awesome magic acts were really missing out. Melinda had a boy in 2003, and a girl in 2007. In 2012, after a 10-year absence, she returned to do an act at Planet Hollywood for the show V, The Ultimate Variety Show. Before her current marriage, Melinda was married to famous magician Lance Burton from 1993 to 94. Before that, she was engaged to the famous comedian and impressionist Rich Little from 1988 to 91. Melinda broke off that engagement, however, and it was a very nasty split. I'm glad that she found a successful relationship with her husband Mark. Melinda is not as well known today as some magicians due to the relatively brief period she was performing regular. However, she was still a big star with a lot of talent and charm to match her beauty. The act that she did is still cool when you watch the videos today. Melinda is an impressive individual in a lot of ways and a most magical babe of the day, babe of the day.